Hi, it's me, Vamp, and I actually just finished watching the dev stream that <clears throat> DE, also known as Digital Extremes, hosts every other Friday, usually, unless they're busy, but typically, yeah. And, you know, they gave some information uh, um, on how um, a few things will work and whatnot, but the thing that caught my eye most of all is the Secure Elector. Also, as Steve called it, um, Credit Whip? Yeah. Which, let's face it, is a Credit Whip. It's going to be getting a nerf. We don't know exactly when, we don't know exactly what it's going to change, but Steve did state that he thinks it's, you know, overpowered per se, that, you know, it also stacks with Chroma's ability and, uh, like, credit resources, so you could get hundreds and hundreds and thousands of credits real easy with this. And in trade chat, it sells for a uh, hundred platinum and up usually, around there and up. Um, and for okay reason, it is a good weapon to get credits. Uh, the higher up people who have like 20 million, 100 million credits. They obviously don't care about this weapon, other than that it is a direct upgrade. But you know, the people who don't have that many credits, like me, I only have um, a little over 4 million, as you can see. I care about this weapon. So, the fact that he's going to they are going to nerf it? I'm not sure. Yes, it would give it, it would still give it some kind of buff. Like, let's read what the buff is now, in case you don't know. Whip the enemy out of their ill-gotten gains. Double credit drops on kills. Right now, it, it doubles the credit drops of enemies. Then enemies that are killed with it drop credit, even if they wouldn't drop them normally. It stacks with credit um, booster, it also stacks with Chroma's fourth ability, Effigy, to do the credit thing. So overall it stacks a whole bunch and that's what they're changing. Now Steve did mention that he might want it to be based off mastery rank, which I I have no problem with honestly. Well, um, it really just depends. On one hand, no, well, I have no problem with it. It will motivate people to want to get higher mastery rank. It will actually give mastery rank a purpose. I mean, sure, we have think like 50 more, um, oh, I didn't know I had so many, uh, 50 more, um, of the void traces you can hold, you can put extra, um, extractors out, you can go to relays, build certain weapons, what not, high mastery rank, but other than that, it really doesn't serve a purpose. And this would, if they do go this route, it will be the first time a weapon has been directly linked to mastery rank, which, I'll be honest, I am okay with. I mean, Right now, there's really no reason for its existence, so it actually having a purpose in the future, that's something I can stand behind. Yeah, though, so, yeah, we don't know 
what the nerf will we change? It's definitely going to be a nerf, but I feel like it's more balanced because of the fact that it is kind of crazy. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd have a lot more credits now than I currently do. But yeah, the fact is, it is kind of crazy. Everyone had to admit, it is kind of crazy. The reason I'm mentioning this now, making a video about it, because if you guys don't have the secure elector, but are like, eh, I'll buy it a week from now or a month from now. If you want it from for credit, get ASAP. Those of you that already have it and are lazy like me, time to get up and possibly use it to get some work done. They mentioned this on the dev stream, that no definitive date. Um, <clears throat> on consoles, I feel like we might have a little more time than PC. Only because the way our update system works. But, it will happen. So definitely keep that in mind. Steve said directly that it's going to change. Change into what? We don't know yet. Based on mastery rank? We don't know that yet either. So yeah, um, have fun credit farming guy. Later.